Hey everyone, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a snapshot in Go High Level. There are a few different ways to do it, but I'm here to give you the simplest method. So before we dive in, I have something special to mention. If you haven't signed up for Go High Level yet, I have an amazing bonus offer just for you. Normally with the standard Go High Level trial, you are gonna get a 14 day trial. But if you sign up using my link, you're gonna receive a full 30 day extended trial at no cost to you. On top of that, I'm gonna give you access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course, which will help you get started, learn key features, and make the most out of the platform. Now, let's get back to the video. First, it's important to understand that to create a snapshot, you need to have a sub account. Without a sub account, you won't be able to compile all the elements necessary for a snapshot. If you don't have one yet, you'll need to create a brand new sub account. Now, the sub account acts as a foundation for everything that comes next. So, the first thing that you need to do is head over to your Go High Level account and create a new sub account. Now, this sub account is where we'll start adding all of the elements that you eventually want to share. Essentially, everything that we put in here will be compiled into a snapshot that you can easily share later on. Now, since we already have a demo sub account set up, we don't need to create a new one right now. Instead, we'll go ahead and directly create a snapshot using the elements in our existing sub account. So to create a snapshot, you need to be logged into your agency account. Now, once you're logged in, go ahead and click on the account snapshots tab in the menu on the left-hand side. Now, this will take you to your snapshot page. Now, before we jump into creating a new snapshot, let me give you a quick overview of what you'll see on this page. Now, this page is divided into four main sections and each of them serves a different purpose. So, let me walk you through them. First, there's my snapshots. Now, this is where you'll see all of the snapshots that you've created for specific sub accounts. Not only can you create new snapshots here, but you can also manage your existing ones or even learn how to sell these snapshots to clients. So it's a great way to save time by replicating successful setups across accounts. Next up, we have the imported snapshots. Now, this is where you'll find all the snapshots that you've imported from others. If someone has shared a snapshot with you or if you've brought one in from an external source, this is where you're gonna find them. Then there's the shared snapshots. Now this section is for all of the snapshots that you've shared with others. It helps you keep track of what you've shared, which is great if you're working with a team or sharing assets with clients. And then finally we have snapshot templates. Now this is basically a library of templates that you can use. There are templates related to different industries like finance, automotive, business coaching, consulting, and a whole lot more. Now these templates are super helpful if you're working in a specific niche and you need a starting point. Now that you know what each section does, let's get into creating a snapshot. It's really easy. Just head over to the My Snapshots section and click on the Create New Snapshot button at the top right corner of the screen. Now, when you click on that, a pop-up window will appear. In this window, you need to enter a name for your snapshot and select the sub account that you want to create the snapshot for. Simply choose the sub account from the drop-down menu that you have created a while ago and then click the next button to proceed. In the next step, you'll see a list of assets that are linked to the sub account that you've selected. These assets are the components that you're going to include in your snapshot. So think of it as putting everything that you need into one box so that you can use it later or replicate it for another account. It could be funnels, email templates, workflows, basically all of the good stuff that you've worked hard to set up. Next to your asset, there is a little plus button. Now click on that and that asset will be added to your snapshot. This way you get to decide exactly what goes into it depending on what you need. 
just add everything that you want. And once you're happy with your selection, go ahead and click the create button at the bottom right of the pop-up window. It'll take just a minute to create your snapshot. And once that's done, your new snapshot is ready to use. Now, once your snapshot has been created, there are a few different things that you can do with it. Let me take you through the options that you have. So if you scroll to the right side of the snapshot that you have created, you're gonna see three little dots next to the snapshot. So click on those dots and you'll see several options. Let me explain what each one does so that you can make the most out of your snapshots. The first option is edit snapshot. Now this allows you to make changes to your snapshot after it's been created. Maybe you wanna add another asset or change the name. Whatever the case, editing is simple and it's a great way to keep your snapshots updated. Next is the snapshot ID. Now each snapshot has a unique snapshot ID, which is like its fingerprint. Now you can use this ID if you want to import or export the snapshot to different Go High Level accounts. This is particularly useful if you are working with clients or colleagues and you want to share a specific setup. Then we have the share snapshot. Now if you need to give someone else access to your snapshot, this is the option that you'll use. By sharing it, you generate a link that you can send to anyone. Now, this makes collaboration super easy, especially if you're handing off work to a client or working with other team members. After that, there's view history. Now, this option lets you see all of the changes that have been made to the snapshot. It's like a timeline that shows every update, which is really helpful if you ever need to figure out what changes were made and when. It's a good way to keep everything transparent and organized. And lastly, there's the delete snapshot option. If you no longer need a snapshot, you can just delete it. Just keep in mind that deleting is permanent, so make sure that you won't need it in the future before going ahead with this option. All right, so now you know how to create a snapshot, how to manage it, and the different options available to you. So let me share a few extra tips on how you can use snapshots effectively in your business. Now, one of the biggest advantages of using snapshots is that they make client onboarding super easy. Let's say that you have a particular setup that works really well for a certain type of client. Instead of recreating that entire setup every single time, you can just use a snapshot to quickly apply it to new sub accounts. Now this saves you hours of work and makes sure that every client gets the same quality setup. Another great way to use snapshots is to create versions for different industries. For example, you could have one snapshot for real estate clients, another for coaches, and another for e-commerce. This way, you're not just saving time, you're also tailoring the experience to fit the specific needs of each client type. Also, if you're collaborating with a team or outsourcing some of your work, snapshots make everything a lot easier. You can share snapshots with your team members and they'll have everything that they need to hit the ground running. It makes sure that everyone's on the same page without the hassle of manually copying settings. Snapshots also help maintain consistency. If you've had a successful campaign and you want to replicate it across different accounts, snapshots allow you to do just that without any risk of missing important details. Consistency is key, especially if you're running multiple campaigns for different clients. And there you have it, my friends. Creating a snapshot in Go High Level is super simple, but the possibilities it opens up are huge. If you're ready to take your business to the next level, don't wait. Use my special link in the description to get an extended 30-day free trial of Go High Level, twice as long as the standard offer. Plus, you're going to get access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course, where I walk you through everything that you need to know to get started quickly and effectively. So thanks so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe for more Go High Level tips and tutorials.